talk about the Refine Edge dialog box. And you can see here I've already made a selection on this illustration I made a few years ago. I'm going to work on that, just that blue. And I'll zoom in so I can see it better at 100%. And there's a few different ways you can open the Refine Edge dialog. You can either hit the Refine Edge button up here, or you can go up to Select and go to Refine Edge. Or there you can also see that alt Control r is the keyboard shortcut. Okay, and that opens up a separate dialog box as you can see here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the preview checkbox is checked. And down here you can see you can either use the hand tool and move around your image, or you can use the zoom tool and zoom in on particular areas. The uh, spacebar key still as normal works as the hand tool, and you can hit control plus or minus for the zoom as well. So that's all that functionality is still the same. Down here are your preview options to start out with. At the beginning is the uh, standard, and that shows you your standard view when you have your mar marching ants going around your selection. Not really that useful. That's kind of why you go into the Refine Edge dialog box so that you can see a different view. Next one is the Quick Mask, which makes everything that's not selected have a red low opacity mask over the top, so you can see how that interacts. Next one is on black background, so it takes your selection and puts it on a black background. Next one is the same, only on white, so those are pretty useful. Those two are the ones that I use the most often. And this last one is for mask, so that you can see what it'll look like just as a black and white mask. And you can actually hit the F key to toggle between those different preview options. I'll stick with the on white background for now. Just quickly, what the Refine Edge uh, dialog box is good for is to literally refine your edges. Because right now you can see that I don't have a very good selection just with my magic wand. Uh, using the Refine Edge is a great combination with the, either the Quick Selection tool or the magic wand. Or sometimes if you need to add in some softness and you didn't add in feather when you did, say, a polygon lasso selection, so you can just make your edges that much better in the Refine Edge tool. Okay, for now the options uh, at the top you see radius. I'm going to zoom in closer so you can see what these do. I'll go right over here. So I get a thin area, moderately thin, and a wider area. So radius, it kind of blurs the edges, but it's not like a feather. It, uh, it's great for soft transitions. If you increase the amount, you can see it's getting kind of ghostly, but it's still not really refining my edge the way I want it. It is pulling in some of these jagged areas, so I'll increase that to about 1 pixel, 1.2, that's fine. What contrast does is it will make your edges sharper if you have a soft edge. So it kind of brings back some of what the radius did, so if you have a high radius, you can see how the contrast will decrease or increase the sharpness of the edge. So I'll bring this back down on there and I'll just have my contrast around 8. Smoothing, what smoothing does is it will round out any corners so you can see the sharp corner right down here. And if I increase this it's just going to round everything out. And I don't want my selection to be perfectly rounded but you can see how it makes the jagged edges very nice and smooth. So I'll bring that back down to about three. Next up is Feather, and Feather works just the same as if you were to set it before you do your selection. It does a general feathering or softening uh, regardless of edge. It can be useful if you want a softer edge, but usually I keep mine certainly under two pixels. And in this case, I'll probably bring it down to less than half. Contract Expand does exactly what it says. You can either increase by going to the right, increase the amount of area that is selected. So if I wanted to get the drawn lines in there, I could do that. Or if I wanted to contract it, make it less selected, I can do that as well. And then I'd probably have to increase my radius and my smoothing to get these edges much better. The thing I don't like about the contract in Expand is it only goes so far. So that's as far contracted as I can go, and this is as far expanded as I can go. So you'll use that depending on how you 
need in each individual case. Uh, in this case I'll actually expand it a little bit so I get a little bit more closer to those outlines. Then you just hit OK and you go back to your normal view and you have your marching ants just the same. But now if I wanted to delete that blue area, just hit delete and then it's white. And in this case I actually probably went a little too soft. That you'll just have to figure out on your own. So that about wraps up the comprehensive tutorial on the refine edge function. Thank you for viewing and be sure to subscribe to my blog at chrislanephoto.com slash blog to get more tutorials and updates and much much more. Cheers!